Good morning. Just had a lovely hot shower. I like my shower. Let me just show you it again. I've shown it. This is a good shower. Perfect. Good water pressure. Hot. I like it on top of my head. And a big shower basin, a glass. Big glass screen. What's more logical than that? All right. Good morning. Good morning. This guy's there flying a kite. Good morning, Fuerteventura. I can see there's a lot more renovation to be done here because you can rent your flats out. Look, I think these are empty. You could be renting those flats out hundreds a day. It's going to get windy probably. This is what it's like looking out of the window. This is my 60 euro a night room. Sleep very well here, but I'm on the move today. And I might go to back to Lanzarote and Costa de Guiz, or I might go down to the middle of this island. I'm not sure yet. I was speaking to a lady last night, a lovely receptionist, and she said she didn't really like the people from Gran Canaria. It sounds a bit like the people on the coast in Spain don't like the people from Madrid. What else? Did she tell me she's travelled a lot and she's from Vigo in the north of Spain in Galicia, which is just above Portugal. And she likes it, she misses it. She's got brothers in Australia. They were in America, but they didn't like it. She said it's very strict in Australia. If, you're, if a cat damages the neighbour's garden, you get reported. I don't know about that. Salvaje, what do you mean? Salvaje, salvage. Up in in um, the north of Australia and places like that, you know, it's not it's the same as Melbourne, is it? It's a big place. I've been across Australia. You know what? I'd go back. It's not bad. A lot of flies there. Uh, but not a lot of history. I actually like Spain better than Australia because it's got it's got more history. It's got old churches and the Alhambra, things like that. You know, in all, every town's got its, its old churches, and you haven't got that in Australia. You go across Australia, and there's all these there's one horse towns like you get in America. With you'll have McDonald's, the bank, um, some signs, dead straight, and you carry on. And there's another one, and then another one. It's like that in America. some solar water heaters over there see vacant i love vacant boiler, boilers i've got a vacant boiler i've got two actually and i've n they've never gone wrong i've got stainless steel heat exchangers get the vacant from the the um before 2014 because the vacants today i'm told by my plumber aren't quite as good as the vacants So I was saying that I might go to the middle of uh, this island today. I've had two days here. I feel, I feel like I've been here. Like two days? Yeah, I've been two days here now. I feel like I've been. You, you feel like you've been travelling for weeks when you when you're travelling with your little rucksack and walking around and looking at everything. And also, when you first hit a town, you first impressions are. You look at all the, the good things. You see that the beachfront and the restaurants. But later you realise, yeah, these restaurants are a bit, you know, overpriced. Um, Twenty euros for a fish. Where last night I went up there. There's the main high street going down that way, and there's um, a bar where the locals go, bar restaurant, and you could have you could have chicken and salad for six euros whereas if i went to the restaurants on the front we're looking at three times as much four times as much yeah, they're nice but they're 
they're here to make money. They're here to. We've got the tourists here, but they've got you. Um, uh, a glass of wine will be for you. As we go to the bar in the town, it will be two. You might find another one in Spain where it would be 50 cents. That's how it is. The world. People uh, are different, and these pe the people are here to make money from the tourists. Uh, the lady yesterday, the receptionist, she told me she likes Lanzarote better. She says there's more there. It's it's it's, it's a bit, bit better developed. But some people would say, like a taxi driver, there's too much there. There's too many rabbit hutch houses for 200,000 euros. It's touristic. It's, um, it's got no life like a Spanish town would have, you know, in the middle of Spain with all your bars and restaurants and, and normal prices where your euro goes a long way. So she said to me, she didn't like Costa Rica. She went to Costa Rica. I've been to Costa Rica and I did like it. She said, um, the people look at you and it's not safe. And I, I agreed with her a little bit there. They say Costa Rica is safe and everyone's happy. But it's not quite true and it's very touristic. Touristic and it's Americanized. You know what I, I mean? It's like you can spend hundreds of euro, dollars on a, a room for the night. They've got all inclusive resorts. And then you've got the poor people from Guatemala doing the work. It's not all a bed of roses, Costa Rica and San Jose can be quite dangerous. You don't go out at night after 10 o'clock in San Jose. No, I wouldn't stay in San Jose. And these tourists that have bad experiences in Costa Rica, San Jose is the capital, have often stayed in San Jose. I know groups of girls who had to, had to run for their lives, they told me. I've met other people who've drunk. You, you might meet a group of people offering you um, a bottle of tequila to have a swig, and you can't see for, for a month that happens to people. Be careful. Anyway, we're not in Costa Rica. She says she didn't like, doesn't like South America at all. And then we talked about Asia. Lovely woman, always smiling, and told me the good beaches around here. She's got, I think she's got some sisters in Portugal. You often find Spanish have big families, like I might have. I met girls with four, six sisters. You know, it's not not unusual. Right, that's my little rant for this morning. Let's go and have a look around and stimulate the mind.